We eat food to make sure that we have enough energy to get through the day. How does the cell get its energy? A double membrane bound organelle called the mitochondrion provides the cell its energy. Let's look at the different parts of the mitochondrion to see how it creates energy. We said that mitochondria are bound by two membranes. Take a look at the outer membrane. It contains a large number of integral membrane proteins called porins. These porins form channels that allow small molecules to freely travel from one side of the membrane to the other. Larger proteins can't enter the mitochondrion as easily. Larger proteins can't enter the mitochondrion as easily. In order to understand this process, we're going to have to jump into a little bit of chemistry. Proteins are made up of many amino acids joined together. The outer membrane of the mitochondrion also has large proteins called translocase attached to it. The translocase is very picky and only allows certain large proteins through. It checks whether the large protein has a free amine group, also known as NH2, at the very end of the chain. In this case, we see that the large protein does indeed have a free amine group at the end. The protein then binds to translocase and is transported across the membrane. In between the outer membrane and the inner membrane, is the intermembrane space. Now we'll have a look at the most important part of the mitochondrion, the inner membrane. The inner membrane has many folds known as cristae, which provide the inner membrane with a large surface area. The inner membrane needs a very big surface area because it enhances its ability to generate ATP. ATP is also known as adenosine triphosphate. ATP is like electricity. It provides energy to the cell. Obviously, the cell wants as much energy as possible, so the inner membrane is very big. The matrix is the space enclosed by the inner membrane. It contains many enzymes that also help with the generation of ATP. Even though we won't be talking about it in this video, here's a fun fact. The nucleus isn't the only organelle with genetic material. The mitochondrion is the only other organelle in the animal cell that has its own DNA and RNA.